we going? Um, yeah, just doing this video. I um, recently had this really cool opportunity to set up this Les Paul, I think Les Paul special? There's electronics. Um, yeah, so one of my friends at work, um, this is basically, I'm gonna switch this off. This is their old guitar. Um, that they got a little while ago. I think this is one of the Korean ones because it has like the little Gibson truss rod cover on it, which is a, a fun little, a fun little thing. Um, but yeah, man, it's been, it's been really fun. Um, I just did this kind of like last second. So I've had this now for like a couple of weeks and, um, yeah, basically he was just like, oh, I'm looking to get this, um, you know, kind of set up. Um, and yeah, I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> um, just because I just enjoyed doing it really. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess this video is just kind of a bit about this guitar, which I was kind of playing earlier. Um, which is a great guitar. And also just kind of like how, like, let me stop saying like, how playing an instrument is also, it's so much more than just playing an instrument. Um, like the music's great. Um, but also, and I'm sure with other instruments as well, but particularly guitar, um, probably because there's so many guitar players, then so many little things you could fix on a guitar, but it's just a great skill to have to just be able to go in and fix a bunch of things. Um, I say fix, well really just kind of keep your guitar well set up. Um, so I think my, my colleague basically had this sitting about for a while um, in a gig bag. Um, but it was needing a bit of TLC. Um, and I actually had a couple of spare parts lying around from some other guitars. So <laughs> the tune and peg on this is one of those kind of like cheap um, kind of decast ones that you get in starter guitars. Um, and unfortunately, the actual head of it fell off. So I've basically taken some old like Sheraton style Epiphone tuners. And basically what I did is a uh, I got some bamboo and um, a screw and some hot glue and just a rubber washer. And basically <laughs> there's just this odd one out here. Um, I was gonna give up and then I was like, no, do you know what actually? Um, I'm gonna persevere. I've got all the tools here um, and I'm gonna try to see if I can fix it. And you know what? It actually works. So, um, and also this bit was fun as well. Trying to find a switch tip for, <laughs> for this because it was missing um so i basically just used one from an old um an old uh, fender telly deluxe which um yeah basically which was just kind of like a a mad kind of what would you call it like a relic mod guitar that i had ages ago and i tried to make it look like the chris shiflet one uh which is in my cupboard um yeah but anyway yeah I was saying, um, it's a good skill to have to just be able to to do all these things. Um, change guitar strings probably is the least you could do. Um, setting up the truss rod, you know, making sure that the string height from the center of the neck is all all okay. Um, and when you do it enough times, you know, um, you eventually get the hang of it and. Uh, you know, I've got a couple friends who are absolute whizzes at it, and I guess I've always kind of mucked about um, setting the guitars up. But it feels, you know, it feels great. Like, and, and maybe this is maybe this is more more than just playing guitar and playing instruments, but having like a a skill. Um, I guess it could be anything really. Um, not necessarily guitar related, but it could be something else. Um, I don't know, it is just nice, you know, I just, one of these things that I just reflected on just as I was doing that there, um, you know, really just kind of, um, yeah, really just kind of going in on this and just giving it a good clean, getting some lemon oil on the fretboard, just all those things. And it kind of makes you think like, oh, actually, these are just, um, these are just things that you pick up over years of doing your hobby um 
yeah and it doesn't even need to be something like fixing someone's guitar it could be it could be another thing in in a vein of art so for example like writing someone a song um or drawing them a picture of their dog you know all these things um because i think there are so many people out there that are genuinely passionate about whatever art it is they do and maybe not even an art maybe um maybe it is even like diy skills but it's just nice every now and then to just you know realize you know you've you've got these skills and you can use them um i think i think it's very uh it's very easy not to have the the self-confidence to do these things um and and when you do these things um you're like oh actually yeah it wasn't as bad as um i thought it was going to be um but yeah anyway <laughs> this video has been such a rant but the long oh the sorry I'll, the the short version of what i'm trying to say is basically you've probably got lots of skills so i'm burping quite a bit um, I had the worst dinner ever. It was um, it was beans and and what was it like cabbage and fish? Actually, do you know what? It wasn't that bad. Um, but yeah. Anyway, yeah. I was saying you've probably got a bunch of skills that you don't even realize you've got, and they might just seem like oh, you know, like totally random skills to you, but to someone else, actually, they could be using those skills. Um, and also, you get a great deal of fulfillment out of just being like, oh, hey, do you know what? Actually, I can do that. Um, and then you do it and you're like, oh, awesome. I've just done that. Um, tell you what, the amount of times I've done something like this and it gets you out of a rut. Um, so this is now going to be going to my, uh, yeah, my, my buddy at work is giving this to his daughter who plays in a punk band, which is really cool. Um, and this is basically just like a little hand-me-down and uh, yeah, basically I've just uh, done up for him. So I'm really, I'm really kind of excited. This is going to be like a Christmas present. Um, but oh, also in a, a little for note, um, too, these guitars are pretty good. Um, I'm not, not too long out of working in a guitar shop, but I've started to realize like, um, you can get a guitar at any price these days and they're all great instruments. Um, but I think this guitar in particular, um, this little Epiphone special, um, I think this one's made in the Samic factory. Um, I used to be dead until those kind of like, uh, like known where all the guitars were made. Not so much anymore, but I think so because you've got the little Gibson truss rod cover on there. But yeah, essentially, um, they're great guitars. Um, dead surprised. I don't know, like, um, I'll play a little bit as well, but I was doing, um, it's got a bolt on neck, which is cool. And, um... The cool thing about that is I do have a 61 reissue SG, um, like a, uh, a Gibson one, and I'd be so scared to do it on this, but bolt on neck, you can just do crazy things like that, you know, um, it's just really, you can just get some nice vibrato out of it, which is, which is always great. And I don't think you'll be playing that with, in a punk band, but I might be wrong. I've been wrong so many times before, but. for like a good guitar backup guitar or a guitar you just want to take on the road because everything's so expensive right now 110 percent uh epiphone special get one of the korean ones great guitars um can't fault them really um played a few guitars before um real rosewood on the fretboard too which i noticed is uh is now kind of becoming less of a thing probably because it's uh, quite a sighted wood now um which is scary, I think, probably in the future. My guess is they'll probably be using, like, totally, um, what's the word? Totally uh, man-made, fabricated synthetic woods, uh, like Rich Light. I had a guitar of Rich Light forever ago, it was great. But yeah, thanks for sitting through this, um, oh, excuse me. 
<coughs> Crikey. Yeah, thanks for sitting through this, uh, this silly video. And uh, yeah, if you've got a skill, any skill, um, and someone's like, uh, you can do this, just do it, just try it, you know, just, if you can't do it, you can't do it, just say, but hey, at least you tried, um, in my case, this was a great success, um, and I can't wait to bring this into my body tomorrow, and, uh, show them the, uh, the finished result, but yeah, anyway, peace out.